Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channel's message reading. This is to Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope that you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's get started, okay? We're gonna be using the Kipper deck as well as the Rider Tarot deck. Uh, please remember to use discernment, take what resonates, leave what does not. If you don't resonate with this message, that's okay. You're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel. Um, you'll always have tons of options here on the channel. I do readings for the collective, readings for the uh, individual 12 zodiac signs, as well as the individual four elements. Uh, please remember that the cards represents energies that any gender can embody, okay? So let's get started. Using the Kipper deck, what is the message here? Ooh, main male. Look at that. Main male. And then look what's on the back of the deck. Oh my gosh. Main female, number one and number two. They go together, okay? Um, wow. Main male and main female. This is going to be hot. So tell us more about main male and main female. Tell us more. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles on the back, Six of Pentacles. So when I see the Ace of Pentacles, this is a divine blessing of prosperity. This is rewards. This is finances. This is security and stability. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me, you guys. Sorry if I scared you. But yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a divine blessing. It's coming out of the helping hands of the Most High. Pentacles are really, really... Um, valuable when it comes to earthly matters okay by the way please excuse the echo i am in a new setting so i'm just trying to like organize everything but very soon the echo will be gone but yeah ace of pentacles very valuable when it comes to earthly matters um you know ace of pentacles it could literally represent like prosperity an increase in prosperity it could even talk about success rewards finances that stability that security that ideal life that you want or that ideal lover that ideal job you know um this is going to be an equal give and take connection with the six of pentacles here these two are going to really mutually be invested in the relationship i don't see it being any sort of like you know unequal give and take at all so tell us more about main male and main female king of wands the world tell us more about main male and main female of swords let's pull out one more knight of wands wow so what do you need to know about this main female this i mean this main male okay because the main male was the card that came out and then on the back of the deck was the main female so i do feel like the majority of this reading is going to be about the main male and his love interest or the woman who he's with is the main female so her energy may may show up okay um but the ace of pentacles the commitment the ideal commitment is going to come from this main male and he's going to get that ideal commitment from his main female okay this main male is the king of wands i i feel like this is someone who is strikingly handsome um you know this is someone who is they carry the spirit of a warrior um in in i think it's the writer no, it's the light, the light seer's deck. I love the illustration of the King of Wands. It, it's illustrated by a man who is so handsome and behind him is a lion. The King of Wands is a warrior, okay? A conqueror. This is someone who is a defender, a protector, very ambitious, very innovative, very strong, um, you know, has a lot of willpower. And this is someone who is very pleasing to the eyes, okay? King of Wands is known to be very sexy, very confident. He exudes power. The world card is here. The world card talks about cycles being completed. It could talk about positive results, desirable outcomes. I'm more so seeing that 
it, it's almost like this main male is someone's ideal partner and this main female is someone's ideal partner. It's like these people have had to close out certain chapters. They've had to, let me not say close out. They've had to complete a series of chapters in their life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They've had to complete a series. Oh, you guys, look at this. Sorry, you guys. They've had to complete a series of chapters in their life before meeting each other. So the two of them are each other's desirable outcome. The two of them are like, you know, it's like it's like arriving at that final stage where you finally meet the one after maybe even experiencing past lovers that weren't the one. You know, it, it's like... Um, these two are the prize, but it took a lot. It took a lot of, you know, completion of cycles, lots of, you know, maybe even closing out karmic chapters as well in order for the two of them to meet each other. Um, I also feel like there is a brand new beginning that's going to start between the two of them because as you complete one chapter, you get to start a new chapter, right? These two are about to establish a whole new life with each other. Um, this main male also carries the energy of the king of swords. So the king of swords is someone who is highly intelligent, very analytical, and very skilled. This is someone who can literally manifest just by using his mind. The king of swords has a very powerful and intuitive mind. So they can see things very sharply, very keenly. When they have a vision, they know how to bring that vision to life just by using their mind. Very, very intelligent people. Um, the king of swords does exude great power of, of authority. This is someone who knows how to enforce law and order. This is someone who can be very strict, blunt, and to the point. You really don't want to mess with like the king of swords and the queen of swords of the deck. Um, they will put you in your place immediately because these are people who are also very discerning. So if they feel like you're trying to deceive them or play them, they will verbally put you in your place. The King of Swords is also an excellent communicator um, and very professional. This main male carries the energy of the Knight of Wands, strikingly handsome, very flirtatious and passionate. I feel like this main male is very charismatic about life and when he is pursuing someone or pursuing his desires, he gives it his all. You know, the Knight of Wands, it, it, it can sometimes be someone who wears their heart on their sleeves and it's because they're very passionate about uh, their desires. Um, he's carrying the energy of the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So this is an action taker here. If you really want to know how this person feels about you or what they're thinking, look at their action, right? But it's, it's, it's good because it looks like he has a, a combination of both where he's a thinker with the King of Swords. He's very analytical, but he's not someone who'll sit, who will sit back and be detached, you know, and being in their head 24 seven, he'll think right? He'll calculate everything. And then he takes action as well with the King of Wands because the King of Wands, Knight of Wands, they are big action takers. So this is also someone um, with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is someone who knows how to stand their ground. This is someone who can put up a fight to get what it is that he wants. This is a King of Wands here. Um, they don't, they don't back down easily. Okay. They know how to stand a challenge and get what they want. Sometimes the King of Wands can even be a little bit self-centered as in, you know, if it's a competition, if there's, if there's a, a challenge, he will say, look, I'm going to be the, the last one standing. I'm going to take you down. I will be the last one standing. The King of Wands can be very competitive and very determined. Um, the King of Wands is also uh, very headstrong, so he's typically a boss, you know. Um, but yes, yeah, so with the Seven of Wands here, this person does not back down until they get their desire. Very nice. So tell us more about main male and main female. Look at this. Four of Wands, commitment, marriage. I feel like that's what the two of them are actually looking for. The two of them may be desiring 
a serious commitment. The Page of Swords is in the reverse. Interesting. I don't see the Page of Swords in the reverse very often. Nine of Pentacles. Taurus one got man, male, male, female. Knights of Swords. And then Temperance. Good. On the back, you have the Emperor. Yeah. The Emperor is a powerful energy. He is the most powerful man in the deck. This could easily be a divine masculine. This could be a father, husband type, someone who's older, wise, mature, experienced, knows how to take charge. This is an alpha male here. So the Four of Wands came out. The Four of Wands, um, like I said, this is all about commitments and marriage. I have no doubt that these two are going to <laughs> definitely get in a marriage the way that they're coming out as the main male and main female. It, it's probably even that the both of them will know that, oh my gosh, this person is the one. Like she's the one, he's the one. Um, especially this King of Swords who is very, very intuitive and very analytical. I feel like once these two spend a lot of time together, the both of them will know um, that that this is the one for them, okay? Um, next, let's talk about this uh, Page of Swords. I also want to say the Four of Wands could also talk about partnerships and soulmate connections, you know, um, two people really working together to achieve uh, victory, to achieve redemption, celebrations. I feel like the both of them are going to work very well with each other. So let's talk about this uh, Page of Swords in the reverse. Page of Swords rarely comes out in the reverse in our readings. I know that when it's in the upright, this could talk about, um, you know, communication from a distance. I always see that card as that communication from a distance. So maybe like through social media, a text, you know, text message or a letter or something like that. Sometimes the Page of Swords could even represent um, spying someone from a distance and it can also represent um, delayed news. So it's quite interesting that it's in the reverse like this because I kind of feel like um, someone here, when I see the page of swords in the reverse like this, hmm, someone may be sort of in their head and they're not, let me see, clarify the page of swords in the reverse. Let's look at it. Oops. Three of Pentacles came out, Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. The Three of Pentacles, it talks about working together and a collaboration. The Ace of Swords communication. Yes, the Ace of Swords, it could talk about the truth and clarity. It could, it could talk about starting new projects, right? New creations, new chapters even. It's a big communication card with the Ace of Swords. But the Nine of Swords is here, which is like someone who's in a mental, it's like they're in this, this mental state where they're sleep they're maybe even having sleepless nights or they're in distress about something i wonder what this is because sometimes the page of source in the reverse it can talk about someone who like has a it could talk about bad news or someone who's just they don't have enough information perhaps they don't have enough information to reach out and to and to start or to initiate something maybe they don't know much about the other person because the page of swords in the reverse, it's a lack of ideas. So maybe this person, I wonder if these two people are new, so they don't really know how to, you know, start talking, start initiating things because they don't know much about each other. Um, sometimes the page of swords in the reverse, it could even talk about someone who's in their head a little bit too much. Um, let me see. Tell us more about this page of swords in the reverse. So the devil, the devil is in the reverse. Okay, good. 
The devil's in the upright. That's someone who, it could represent obsessions, addictions, possessiveness. It could represent strong desires. Um, the devil doesn't always have to be a negative card, but when it comes out, it's most likely someone who's like obsessing over something, you know? But it's in the reverse like this. Hmm. Tell us more about the page of swords in the reverse. Yeah, someone here just isn't reaching out. The Eight of Wands is communication. Death and the High Priestess. So the death represents major endings and transformations, rebirths, renewals. Um, hmm. The High Priestess. The High Priestess is someone who is very intuitive, very you know, very spiritual. I wonder if this is someone who's just a little bit shy because I know sometimes the king, of, the king of Swords can be very reserved. You know, he kind of likes to stand at a distance and just watch everything. I think this is someone who likes to, to gather information first before like taking action. They like to thoroughly think about things first and then they dive in. I feel like that's what it is. Because the high priestess is known to be all-knowing. So as intuitive as this person clearly is, maybe they're trying to gather information first and pinpoint the other person first before pursuing them, before communicating with the Eight of Wands. Interesting. Tell us more about this page of swords in the reverse so we can really understand it. Ooh, was there a card that... I'm going to try page of swords in the reverse. talks about it could easily talk about betrayals feeling backstabbed um or it could just talk about someone who feels completely depleted once you hit this ten of swords it's like there's no going back there's no return here the hangman talks about release surrender and letting go the ten of wands you see i'm not getting anything bad with this person like especially with that devil in the reverse, they don't have any attachments, okay? No attachments to someone, no attachments to the past, nothing nothing negative is influencing them with that devil in the reverse. I feel like this is someone who has let go of, of betrayals, they've let go of the past, any past baggage and burdens. The, the hangman is being called to surrender and release. So I just kind of feel like this is someone who is, yeah, this person's the king of pentacles. They're very grounded. They're very stable, this main male here. But maybe they're getting, what's the word? Is it an introspect? I just heard that word and I don't use that word. <laughs> I just heard that word and it's not a part of my my um, my vocabulary. Um, but I feel like it's an introspect that's going on here, especially being the king of swords. This is someone who is a thinker, but it's like they don't sit in their head a lot though. They'll think about it first you know, gather and collect their thoughts and then they pursue. So I don't really see anything. There's nothing to worry about with this person. They don't have any past baggage. They're not carrying any past hurts. They don't have any negative attachments. This is just someone who they like to be, they like to know information first before diving in. Okay. Uh, they like to be certain of, of, of you and certain of things first, not necessarily you, but certain of things first before diving in. I, I just feel like that's what it is. This person does know who you are. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords. 
they have an idea of who you are. Um, this may even be someone who knows that they're meant to be working with you, working together with you, collaborating with you. But I just feel like right now they're in this like introspection where they're trying to figure everything out. Okay. But they will take action with the King of Wands here. Let's look at the Nine of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords talks about uh, surrendering, letting go, walking away. The Page of Wands is here. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who has left a lot behind. This person is single. This person is independent. This person is well-established, very successful, and very self-sufficient. With the Five of Swords here, this is someone who definitely walked away from something here that just wasn't wasn't worth. So this is someone who knows their worth. This is not someone who will, you know, stay in something that isn't that isn't good for them, right? This is not someone who's afraid of being lonely because they're very independent and self-sufficient. They are okay with being by themselves, okay? So this is not someone who will try to fight with you to to get what they want. They don't have a problem with walking away. Okay, they know when to walk away when needed. Um, this person is also the Page of Wands here, which is interesting because the Page of Wands, yes, it could talk about like good news, you know, receiving communication that brings good news, or it could talk about a good idea. But I just feel like this is someone who's very brilliant minded. The Page of Wands could easily talk about someone who's an innovator, right? They bring their ideas to life. So this person has no wonder they're the king of swords. They're they're very skilled at, at at doing many things. I feel like this could be someone who doesn't just have one one specialty or one expertise, you know. They pretty much know every, they know a little bit of everything. This is someone who's very very self-sufficient. So they can do things by themselves, but how? It's because this person has an innovative mind with the page of wands here. They are very very creative and and they think about ideas ideas and they actually make things happen. So never think that this is someone who, this is not someone who needs anybody, to be honest. If they have you around them, it's because they're generally interested in you. It's not because they need you. Um, you also have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is, is a call to action, right? This is someone who isn't afraid. They will take action immediately and not fear the consequences. Um, Clarify the Knights of Swords. Three of Cups. Five of Cups. So the Knights of Swords, okay? Um, three of Cups and the Five of Cups. Three of Cups talks about celebrations, weddings, anniversaries, social gatherings, but the Five of Cups, Five of Cups is like regrets, crying over spilled milk. What is this? Sometimes the Three of Cups can represent a third party situation, but if it is a third party situation, I don't feel like it's one that has caused any I don't think like, I don't know, because it's not in the reverse. When it's in the reverse, that's when it could talk about like love triangles, cheating, infidelity, you know, unwelcomed guests, uh, third parties who have intervened, right? Let me see. Clarify this three of cups here. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Clarify the Three of Cups. Knight of Cups. Okay, clarify the Five of Cups.
Okay, there's something you need. Holy Spirit, please give me more clarity. There's something that you need to know about. Yeah, you see it's been revealed. The sun. Yes, the sun could talk about um, happiness, fulfillment, growth, expansion, even fertility. It could talk about the birth of a child. It could talk about healing. Uh, it could talk about enlightenment and illumination, right? Um, this person, when it comes to they're women, okay? There's something you need to know about this person. I feel like this is someone who just, they don't play. This person being the king of swords, they just don't, this is not someone who you wanna play around with. You know, there's something about their demeanor they're very serious. They're very, uh, they're very intentional with the things that they do. Um, when they say something, they mean it. Um, they're very honest. The King of Swords is someone of honesty and integrity. They compose that they're very well mannered, but their demeanor, they're well composed. And they present themselves as someone who you really don't want to play with, right? Um, maybe they can be a little bit intimidating to others. This person is very reasonable. They're very logical. I don't feel like this person is rude or anything. But this person is a very intentional individual. Like, this is not someone who you just want to waste their time with, you know? They're going to be like, like, what do you want? What do you, you know? This is just, they do things with intentions, right? With an intent. There's something about, they become, a, like, the Knight of Swords, they will cut out the nonsense. They'll, they'll, they'll cut out the, <laughs> this, okay, there's something about this person that if you're the main female, you need to know something about this person. <laughs> this, you guys know, I'm, I'm always silly and goofing around and stuff. Um, but this person is serious and it's so funny how I'm laughing, but <laughs> They are very serious minded. So if you're like a, you know, you're a goofy person like me and you like to take things lightheartedly, there may be a little clash here because um, there's something about this person where they're like, I feel like this is a truth. Like they're, they're main, the, the energy, the card in the deck that represents this person is the King of Wands. That's their main energy. Like they're fiery. They are, the way that they're this Knight of Swords, they will cut out the BS. Like if there's something that they don't like, or if they sense something's off or someone's trying to play them or someone's trying to disrespect them, if they sense any sort of like foolery, <laughs> If they, if they sense any kind of foolery, any foolishness, they will cut it out so quick. Like, <laughs> they will cut it out so quick. Um, I already know, like, I don't know whose man this is, but I know they would get annoyed of someone like me who just takes things very lightheartedly, you know? Um, but this person, this, there's something with the three of cups here that has to do with like socializing, something with socializing. Um, this person means, please, okay, 
Be patient with me because I'm really trying to give you an idea of what this person's like. They mean business, like strictly business. They don't, they are a king of swords. They're not here to be besties with everyone. They mean business, right? They're very serious. Like if you say you're in a commitment with them, you're in a commitment with them. If you're with them, you're with them. N none of that foolery, right? So I just feel like there's something, they take, things very seriously like they, they take the things that you say very seriously like if you say something they believe that you mean it okay this is someone who is they have a very strong moral compass they have strong integrity right something's gonna happen here i don't know if this is the main female who has this personality but the three of cups is like socializing there's something that's gonna get on this person main female be careful because you may rub this person the wrong way it's something about socializing here like if this if you're one of those people who likes to chat with people like you just like to strike a conversation with people especially of the opposite sex this person may feel like oh like you're enticing them you're 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 getting these people to be romantically it's something where it's like this this is the kind of individual where they take respect very seriously, right? So and and I literally hear them saying this to you where it's like you're encouraging this. If you know main female, you know that you're very attractive and you know that people are interested in you and you're going to them and being extra friendly to them and smiling at them this person may feel like you're you're enticing someone here you're you're encouraging you know people it's not that this is someone who's jealous i don't feel like this is someone who is like jealous for no this is not the type of person who would get jealous for just no reason you know that's not what i'm saying it's just they don't like for they like to avoid things before it happens so they like to set boundaries so that foolishness won't even start so that you know like this is someone this is a king of swords here this is someone who is very analytical so they can they don't they like to avoid things from happening right avoid disasters from happening so if you're one of those people who's like kind of I don't know there's something about this main female where it's like um she reminds me she reminds me of this page of swords in the reverse I wonder if that is her because she does remind me of a page of swords in the reverse where she's kind of like you know on cloud nine maybe a little bit like like la 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 like kind of like in the clouds her head is in the clouds and she's not really aware she's not really conscious of what's going on around her she's she's in the clouds her head is in the clouds all the time i feel like and we will talk about this main female in the extended it's something about this main female something that she does that's going to upset him because i feel like she i don't it, but honestly it could be something that's just innocent maybe this is someone who's like the way he's a king of wands she may be a queen of wands because i know a queen of wands they're very attractive they're very energetic very optimistic right and they exude power confidence and sexiness so it can really entice other people to want them. And this main male knows that. And he, he, of course, no man wants to see other men, no man wants to see other men want their woman, you know, duh. So, you know, I'm just trying to be fair here. I just, there's something about socializing. I don't know if this main female is just very outgoing or something, but yeah, something about that. Um, yeah, you see, she's the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is someone who's very charming, very sweet. The Knight of Cups is like a, a heartthrob. This is someone who people have a crush on. And this is a King of Wands. King of Wands is very attractive. 
okay? The King of Wands is very, very attractive, and he knows that, which is why he becomes the King of Swords to set boundaries with people so that no one will get any ideas in their head, and it's just to show respect to his partner. You know, this is not someone who will unintentionally flirt with people or unintentionally give someone an idea that they're interested. He knows that he's very handsome. So he sets boundaries with people just to keep things cordial, you know, to keep things professional, to keep people from overstepping their boundaries. But I don't think this main female is like that. I don't think, but it could be something that's just innocent. She's a knight of cups. She is very, very sweet. She's very kind. She's very, she's very charming. You know, she makes people's heart beat, if you know what I mean. Um, people have a crush on her. The Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords is here. This is something that I think that's where the issue is going to come from. When I see the Ace of Swords, Six of Swords like that. Six of Swords is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. So I do feel like the two of them will be able to overcome this. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is carrying out a plan, trying to get a sense of direction. The moon is here. The moon represents using your intuition and the Two of Pentacles is here. Yeah, the two of them are gonna be able to get to, to handle that, okay? But that's what you need to that's what you need to know about this person. They don't like any of that 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 foolery, okay? Um clarify the temperance. Wow, this connection, like I said earlier, this is going to be such a well-balanced connection. The Six of Pentacles is that equal give and take. The Temperance represents uh, peace, harmony, contentment, alignment. It's also a big, a big companionship card for me. Um, The Queen of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So the Queen of, what did I say? She's a Queen of Wands. I knew it. The, I knew it from her energy. I knew it. This woman is really, like the both of them are really good looking. King and Queen of Wands are a hot couple, right? But he has a, he takes respect and integrity seriously. So this is not someone who you, you can admire him from a distance. But if you think you, you can go up to him and try to seduce him, flirt with him, he's going to cut that out. And it's just to show respect for his partner, right? He is a very business, a very professional man. He sets boundaries, right? He keeps things very cordial and just brief and short. But I feel like this Queen of Wands is not like that. I feel like this Queen of Wands is very open to people. Um, she's a Queen of Wands in the upright, though. This is not a woman who you need to be, like, worried about if she was a queen of wands in the reverse then i would say oh yeah definitely be careful with this one queen of wands in the reverse is like promiscuous but in the upright this is a woman who is just very confident very bold and assertive right very energetic um look at the eight of pentacles here very hard working as well very the, the both of them are are alike the eight of pentacles, you know, that's hard work that brings success. She's very dedicated. She's very committed to her work. Um, I think she just may have a problem with setting boundaries. And I feel like he can teach her that, you know, um, because in life, you do need to know how to set boundaries because you don't want to give people the wrong idea, you know, but the, the knight of pentacles. Yeah, she's very, she's very dedicated to to her work very devoted and committed uh the knight of pentacles is someone who's very hard working very patient diligent they finish what they start you can count on the knight of pentacles very very sincere um yeah she's the queen of pen oh she's a queen of pentacles 
Yeah, Queen of Pentacles is someone who's very loyal, very committed, very devoted, very faithful, very stable, secure, grounded, hardworking. Queen of Pentacles is also known to be very successful at what she does. So she may live a, a, a life of luxury, but she's still very humble and grounded. It's her work ethics. This is someone who worked for their success. Nobody handed it to them. Um, so I do feel like this is a very, very um, well-accomplished and well-respected woman. Um, tell us more. Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups talks about uh, walking away, okay? Walking away from an, an investment. So something happened in her past where I feel like there was some chaos, drama, commotion, competition, maybe just conflict. And I feel like she walked away. So it does show that this is someone who knows her worth and has self-respect. This is not someone who will, same as this King of Wands, he came out as a Five of Swords. He'll walk away. You know, these two people are very confident in themselves. So anything that doesn't serve them well, they will turn their back on it. It doesn't matter, you know, how long they've known someone, how much investments they've made. If it ever gets to this point where there's chaos and conflict and drama, she's going to walk away. Okay. Um, the star. This is someone who walked away from the past. Six of Cups is all about the past. That's our confirmation. She walked away from the past and she because she wanted more for herself. You see how this queen is looking down at her pentacles? She knows her worth. She knows her value. She knows that she, she has something great, you know? And I feel like she manifested. She manifested something more for herself because the past was just, it, it was less than what she really deserved. justice. Yeah, that's exactly what she did. Um, you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Eight of Wands, and the Justice card. So the Ace of Cups talks about, uh, it's all about the new, a new beginning that's going to be so, that is very emotionally fulfilling. Mm. She, <coughs> excuse me, she walked away from the past and she went towards her brand new beginning. Like this woman doesn't play. I feel like she really manifested more for herself. The Eight of Wands is here and then Justice is here. It's like she attracts, I feel like this is, she's a Queen of Wands, so she's very high vibing, very high vibrational. So she attracts all that is good for her. And I feel like she attracted this new beginning with this, this main male. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to do an extended where we're going to talk about this main female because I feel like these two are like, what's the word? Like spicy? <laughs> these two are just very hot, very sexy. There's a lot of passion here. These two are powerful individuals. In the, um, they're powerful individually. So when they come together, these two are a power couple. Um, so we talked about the main male and some of the, the things that you need to be aware of when it comes to him, right? We're going to talk about the main female. She may have some things that, you know, he needs to know as well. So yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And if you're interested in connecting with me more, definitely check out the description box. I don't do private readings, but there are still many ways that you can connect with me, that you can uh, support the channel more if you would like. All the information's in the description box. Also, please be careful of scammers. Um, they're targeting me and other readers, the tarot card reading community, honestly. It's being targeted by scammers. So sometimes they leave like spam comments, like, you know, my WhatsApp number, so-and-so. I don't have WhatsApp. Um, the only other social media platform that I'm on is Instagram, and I leave the details in my description box. So anything that's pertaining to me, it will always be in the description box, okay? Never anywhere else. If it's in the comment section, if it's anywhere else, it's probably a scammer pretending to be me, okay? So be careful of those spam uh, those spam comments. If you, if you come across one, just ignore it or report it, but please don't fall for anyone reaching out to you. I will never reach 
reach out to you to ask you for your money or for private readings, okay? Everything about me will always be in the description box only. So I'm going to end the reading here. Um, the, the link to the extended is going to be in the description box, that link, okay? So I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys for your support. Please take care and many blessings to you.